Hello guys, welcome back again to another video of your class 12 mathematics. In today's video, we should be learning about nothing more than your chapter 6, that's application of derivative. So let, let us go forward with it. The first topic is nothing more than your rate of change of qualities. It's given that let y is equal to f of x, then dy by dx denote the rate of change of y with respect to x and its value at x is equal to a denoted by dy by dx at x is equal to a. So that is nothing more than the rate of change of qualities. Don't worry, this rate of change when we do the exercise, you will come across it very nicely. Just go through the definition. Then the next one is nothing more than further, if two variables x and y are varying with respect to another variable t, that is, if x is equal to f of t and y is equal to g of t, then by chain rule, dy by dx is equal to dy by dt divided by dx by dt if and only if dx by dt is not equal to zero because the denominator cannot be zero then comes a very important note is given that your dy by dx is positive if y increases don't forget okay dy by dx is nothing more than your positive is positive if y increases and is increases right and as x increases and is negative, remember it's negative if y decreases as x decreases. So that's all about your note. Now comes again a very important topic, which is marginal cost and marginal revenue. So it's given to be marginal cost. Let's see with the total cost of producing and marketing x units of a product. Then the marginal cost MC is defined as MC is equal to DC by your dx. Remember this C it denotes nothing more than your total cost. Similarly, marginal revenue, the rate of change of total revenue with respect to the quality sold is called marginal revenue, MR, and is defined as MR is equal to DR by DX. Same thing, your R is nothing more than your rate of change of total revenue. So that's all about definition. Definition part, I hope you are clear. You can pause the video and then write it down. Now let's do the exercise. The first one, exercise, nothing more than your 6.1 and we're going to use rate of change of qualities okay so just bear with the question is given that find the rate of change of the area of the circle with respect to its radius when r is equal to 3 centimeter so i have to find the area right so i will just say that number one let a be the area and r be the radius of circle then uh, area of the circle is nothing more than your pi r square now if you can read the question is given find the rate of change of the area of the circle with respect to its radius okay so differentiating both with respect to radius i'll get r i'll get here nothing more than your da by your dr is equal to if i differentiate i'll get the answer directly 2 pi r so Number A is given to be at R is equal to 3 centimeters. So your DA by your DR at R is equal to 3 would be nothing more than 2 pi into 3. That's nothing more than your 6 pi. Similarly, number B at R is equal to 4 centimeter. So your DA by your DR at R is equal to 4 would be nothing more than 2 pi into 4, which is 8 pi. So both are nothing more than rate of change of area of circle with respect to your radius. So this is how we're gonna solve the question number one, or I would say solve your whole exercise in the same thing. Okay, okay. You can pause the video, write it down, and those who are not clear, don't worry, we have plenty of question more to go. So let me just do your question number three. Your question number three, if you can read the question is given, the radius of a circle is increasing uniformly at the rate of three centimeters per second. Remember, it's given per second. Per second means nothing more than your time. So find the rate at which the area of a circle is increasing when the radius is 10 centimeter. Again, the same thing. Let R be the radius and A be the area of the circle. So as we know, your area of the circle would be nothing more than your pi r square. Uh, and your given, your given is nothing more than your dr 
by your dt why dt is given the radius of a circle is increasingly uniformly at the rate of 3 cm per second per second always remember it's a sun modeling time so there will be 3 cm per second so same thing I have to differentiate both with respect to t that's not modeling your time okay so that will be dA by your dt and then if I differentiate this one I'll get here 2 pi r then your dr by your dt so I did it directly so it's given again that at r is equal to your 10 centimeter because at the last part of the question is given that when the radius is 10 centimeter right so your dA by your dt at r is equal to 10 would be nothing more than 2 into or 2 pi into 10 and your dr by dt I got it to be 3 so that will be nothing more than 60 pi centimeter square per second why centimeter square because I'm dealing with the area so I can say that hence the area of the circle if you can look over here I got the answer in positive now when you go back to your note that you have written down if you can see there positive means increasing so I can say hence the area of the circle increases at the rate of 60 pi centimeter square per second so you can pause the video and then write it down all right so in a similar manner let me do your question number seven your question number seven is given to be the radius of a circle is sorry the length x of a rectangle is decreasing at the rate of five centimeter per minute and the width y is increasing at the rate of 4 cm per minute. When x is equal to 8 cm and y is equal to 6 cm, find the rate of change of a, the parameter, and b, the area of the rectangle. So that's your question number 7. So given, what's given, you're given is nothing more than dx by dt is given to be minus 5 cm per minute. And your dy by your dt is given to be 4 centimeter per minute the first thing I have to find is your parameter so I will just say let P be the parameter of the rectangle so if P is a parameter of rectangle so P would be nothing more than twice X plus Y remember your X denotes nothing more than your length and Y denotes nothing more than your width so if I differentiate with respect to time I'll get here dp by your dt would be equal to 2 then dx by dt plus dy by your dt but your dx by dt happens to be minus 5 and your dy by dt happens to be 4 so I've got the answer minus 2 centimeter per minute and if you can look here carefully I got the answer in minus if you can see this one okay I got the answer in minus minus means decreases so I can say hence the parameter Parameter of the rectangle decreases at the rate of 2 cm per minute. So you can pause the video, write it down. So that's all about the parameter. Let me do number 2. Your number 2, it's given to be an area. So let A be the given area of the rectangle so if a is a given area of rectangle then a is nothing more than your x y so same thing i have to differentiate both with respect to time so if i differentiate both with respect to time i'll get here da by your dt but nothing is there between them that means i have to use the product rule so there will be x your dy by your dt plus y your dx by your dt okay and now go back to the question in the question it's been given that your x is nothing more than 8 cm and your y is nothing more than your 6 cm and we know your dx by dt is nothing more than your minus 5 and your dy by dt is nothing more than your 4 don't forget it okay so I'm just simply going to put the value over here so that it will be uh, dA by dt would be nothing more than your x is 8 and then 4 plus 6 and then minus 5 so which would be nothing more than 2 centimeters square per minute and why is centimeter square is because it's about the area and nothing is there between uh, 
before to that means is in positive positive means increases i can say hence the area of the rectangle increases at the rate of 2 cm square per minute now let me just go back okay if you can see i got the answer in minus right but i wrote the answer in positive okay and why did i write the answer in positive because i have written the word nicely over here that it decreases so you don't have rather than here minus i hope you're clear till there so that's all about your question number seven now same thing read question number 10 your question number 10 is given to be a ladder 5 cm long. Uh, please change, because in the question, uh, question is given to a meter, change into centimeter, okay? A ladder 5 cm long is leaning against a wall. The bottom of the ladder is pulled along the ground away from the wall at the rate of 2 cm per second. How fast is its height on the wall decreasing when the foot of the ladder is 4 m away from the wall? okay this question is a little bit complicated so whenever the question comes complicated always try to draw a diagram which will be easy for you so if i happen to draw the diagram so the diagram would be there's a wall and a letter is leaning against the wall so let me just name the letter to be a b okay and simply the wall to be o c so let me just start with let o c be the wall be the wall uh, and then uh, such that a b be the position position of the ladder okay uh, position of the ladder and your ladder is given to be nothing more than your five centimeter so I'm like my x and this one be y position of your ladder so i can say that such that uh, your o a make it to be x and your o b make it to be your y Okay, your length of the ladder, length of the ladder is given to be nothing more than your 5 centimeter. Okay, uh, also given, if you can read the equation, it's given that your dx by your dt is nothing more than your 2, yeah, 2 centimeter per second. That's given in the equation. Okay, uh, what can I do? Okay. Because I got this one to be in right triangle. So whenever right triangle comes, always we have to apply which theorem? Nothing more than your Pythagoras theorem. So I can say OA square plus OB square is equal to your AB square. So that will be X square plus Y square is equal to your 5 square. So differentiating both with respect to time. Let me make this one to be your equation number one. Okay. So differentiating both respect to time, I'll get here 2X dx by dt plus 2y dy by dt is equal to 0 because 5 is constant so the answer will be 0 but i got dx by dt to be how much 2 so there will be 2x into 2 plus 2y dy by dt is equal to 0 okay so this much how much i got this one let me go to the next page so that will be nothing more than your uh, 4x plus 2y dy by dt is equal to your zero. So I insert your dy by dt would be uh, minus 4x divided by 2y, nothing more than minus 2x by y. Let me make this one to be your equation number two. Okay, now uh, at x is equal to 4 from equation one. Your equation one was nothing more than x squared plus y squared is equal to 5 squared. So your y would be nothing more than root over of. 5 square minus 4 square so that is something more than uh, I'll get here 25 minus 16 nothing more than your 3 so your y happens to be 3 so putting x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 3 in equation 2 I'll get here dy by your dt is equal to minus 2 into 4 by 3 so that's nothing more than minus 8 by 3 centimeter per second i got the answer in negative so it will be hence the height of the wall just change this one the height the height of the wall decreases 
add the right off 8 by 3 centimeter per second so that's all about your question number 10 you can pause the video and then write it down nicely okay all right so again let me jump to your question number 14 this is given that sand is pouring from a pipe at the rate of 12 centimeter cube per second the filling zone so not sand, stone sand okay? the filling sand forms a cone on the ground in such a way that the height of the cone is always one sixth of the radius of the base how fast is the height of the sand cone increasing when the height is four centimeter all right the question is a little bit complicated so let me just start with your answer so it will be let r comma h and v be the radius height and volume because the sand is converting into cone so it will be volume of the cone respectively okay so such that if you read the equation is given your h is to be nothing more than r by 6 so that's given I guess you're clear till there so if h is given to be r by 6 so i can say your r is nothing more than your 6h hmm? also is given that the first part of the question the dv by your dt dh is given to be 12 not centimeter cube per second sorry that's not your dh that's be your dt why because it's about a second see don't do silly mistake like me okay it's dv divided by dt is equal to 12 centimeter cube per second so your volume of the cone the volume of the cone is nothing more than v would be uh, 1 by 3 pi r square h but what was r your r was nothing more than your 6h so which would be 1 by 3 pi 6h the whole thing square and then h and if you do it it will be 12 pi h cubed there's nothing more than your v so the next step differentiate both with respect to t so you'll get here dv by your dt and then 12 pi into 3h square and then your dh by your dt okay let me write on the same thing over here to the next page you got dv by your dt is equal to 12 pi into 3h squared and your dh by your dt all right so but your dv by dt it was given to be nothing more than 12 so which would be 12 pi and then 3h square dh by dt so i cancel your 12 with 12 so that is your dh by your dt would be nothing more than 1 divided by 3 pi h square so at height is equal to 4 centimeter that's given in the equation so your dh by your dt would be nothing more than 1 by 3 pi into 4 square is 16 so i got the answer 1 by 48 pi centimeter per second so the answer is in positive so therefore the height of the sand the height of the sand increases at the rate of 1 by 48 pi centimeter per second so that's all about your question number 40 okay before you go for the next question i want you to go through the definition of your marginal cost and your marginal revenue which was there i hope you've written it down so let me do the next question that's your question number 16 is given that uh, nothing more than the total revenue in rupees received from the sales of x unit of a product is given by rx is equal to 13x square plus 26x plus 15 and the question says find the major, uh, marginal revenue so your marginal revenue is nothing more than d by dx of your r so which would be d by dx of your 13x square plus 26x plus 15 so when you differentiate it it will be nothing more than 26x plus 26 that's nothing more than your marginal revenues but i have to find that x is equal to your 7 so your marginal revenue would be nothing more than 26 into 7 plus 26 nothing more than your 182 plus 26 which would be your 208 so hence marginal revenue at x is equal to 7 is rupees 208 so you can pause the video and then check once again